As Electronic in general has been doing one thing for the last 40 years, it is humanizing technology. And for whom we are doing this is the entire society out there. The midlife crisis of the digital revolution, it is a momentum where you try to analyze where you are and where your dreams brought you to then make a shift and find a new direction. The arts community is actually media arts, and what is a media arts? Media arts is the species that we represent are open for a new culture of collaboration. They are collaborating with industries, standing on the edge where they know and they have the awareness that soon they are forced to make a big shift. And artists are able to, with their creative and critical thinking, help them to kind of look in the day after tomorrow, simulate the future and create a new ethics in using this technology. Zara Petkus is an artist that has naturally grown out of this complex life full of technologies around us. I'm trying to create a machine that exists and can interact with their environment, but on their own behalf and not for the sake of anybody else. I create devices that are supposed to challenge the way that people relate to technology. Noodle Feet is a little robot that comes up to about my knee height. He experiences everything in his world with his foot appendages. He's got eyes, he can see you, and based on whether or not he sees things he recognizes, it affects how he behaves. We have a thousand artists, even more this year, and we are all empathic people here, and this creates this specific tension, this specific energy that even a festival in a size like that can be something nice for the individual. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy, kick back. We created a video game, Golf Club Wasteland. The premise of the game is that there was an ecological catastrophe and the 0.1% of the ultra rich moved to Tesla City on Mars. The rest of us are obviously dead. And in their free time, the rich travel back to Earth to play golf in the ruins. And the whole landscape of this game is peppered with neon signs that refer to current political issues that will lead up to the eventual apocalypse in the near future. I'm just trying to make fun of people who have power, the Silicon Valley ideology, which is the belief that technology can save us. However, only people can save us. So what we try to reveal are the values behind the technology. Don't let go. This project is the first uh, in a series of projects that works towards making a machine that thinks itself a plant. Here we're actually reading plant lips. Plants have tiny openings on the bottom of each leaf. So they open and close, also like our mouths. They actually look a lot like lips, uh, so much so that actually we have an interpreter for the deaf reading the lips, as well as an algorithm that try to interpret what the plants are saying. In a way, this is an exploration of this intense human desire to connect, insisting on using language when, on the other hand, we are actually communicating with plants through chemicals all the time. So the mistake of recognizing lips or human lips where there are none uh, is performed both by us, the humans, as well as algorithms, which we also made. I think that the way that we utilize our technology, it reflects on us. I think what Noodle does, he does help people reflect on why they're making the things that they make. When people see how he kind of enriches my own life, it encourages them or gives them permission to take on projects like that that do feed their own soul and not necessarily just make them money. The artist and the art there is able to connect us, to help us in a didactical way to understand what this technology is able to do and how this technology would be able to influence us in a negative or in a positive way. Humankind will keep on inventing new technologies. The technologies around us will become more and more intelligent, and Ars Electronica will always be on this nexus. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.